Right, let's look at how we would draw a pie chart. The table gives information about the languages studied by your 11 students at school A. Um, we have three languages, French, German, Spanish, and we've got the number of students for each. Draw an accurate pie chart with this information. For this question, we're only going to look at part A, where we just focus on how we would draw a pie chart. Now, we've got the numbers, but in order to draw a pie chart, we need to know the angles for each of these categories. So here's how we do it. Remember, a full circle has an angle of 360 degrees. So we need to look at what number this 360 does the whole thing represent. So if we add 58 to 33 to 29, we get 120. So 360 degrees represents 120 students. So in that case, we need to find out the angles for each category so we can draw that on to this pie chart. So if 360 represents 120 students, what would one student be represented by? So we divide that by 120 to go from 120 to one. We do the same thing to 360. 360 divided by 120, that simplify that by dividing it by 10, we get 36 over 12. Simplify it again, we can divide both by six, we get six over two. Six divided by two is equal to three. So one student represent, is represented by three degrees. So if you want to know the angle for each of these categories, we need to multiply each category by three. 58 multiplied by 3 is equal to 174. 33 multiplied by 3 is equal to 99 degrees. These are represented by degrees. 29 multiplied by 3 is equal to 87 degrees. Once we know the degrees for each, we would grab our protractor, align the zero with the line that's already drawn on there. So we place the zero on it. And then we would measure. So the first category of French is 174 degrees. So we go from zero to 174. We be as accurate as we can be. So 170 is here. 74 would be right there. Then grab yourself a ruler, draw a line from the center to the line that we just measured to be 174 degrees. This is our first category which is French which was 174 degrees then you would grab the protractor again align your zero once again with the line that you've just drawn and we measure once again so the next category German is represented by 99 degrees so we measure from zero to 99 which is right here Add that line in from the center to the line that we've just drawn. And the second category represents German. And what remains if you measure it from protector again, place your zero here and measure from the zero all the way here, that should be 87 degrees, which is represented by Spanish. And that's how you would draw a pie chart. Hope that makes sense. Let me know if you